Now, do you think it just rains when we come over to the storage unit? Yeah. Look at this rain today. It is uh, Memorial Day weekend here in Myrtle Beach. Obviously, bike week is canceled. And it is so cold. It is like 50 degrees outside. But we just got back from vacation. We got 32 orders to the pool that we sold on vacation. Uh, we sold a assist trainer. Now, if you ever find these, these actually sell pretty good. They're from Matsy. And this one actually has the original um, thing in the middle, the CD. It's a CD player. This thing sold for $68 plus shipping. They're kind of a pain in the butt to ship. See how it's curved? I do not believe this fits in a 4x4. I think this has got to go in a 6x6. And we sell, we send everything UPS, but $68 pretty good. We sold some glasses. Um, these are rare Charlie Brown set of four. $30 for some glasses. That's actually pretty good. I'll throw up a sole comp because I don't want to take them out of the bubble wrap. But I mean, 30 bucks. Usually these decorative glasses don't go for that much money, do they? They were rare. Rare. What makes them rare? Because there wasn't any like it on eBay. It must have been rare. <laughs> That's how I like my steak. Got some more Allen Edmond shoes. These sold for $59.49. And there's a lot of like weird things like 59, 49, 39, 22. It's because we did a 15% off sale when we went on vacation. And this is, you know, why everything looks a little different. And we didn't send, send out any offers either while we were on vacation. So these were all just regular sales. These one right here, they come with the shoe trees on the inside. These are some nice Allen Edmond little tassel guys. They sold for 60 bucks plus shipping. We got a, this was out of the um, Tony boxes. No, where they? Yeah, I think there was a Dragonfly Roadhouse flame shirt with some dice on it. It's like a bowling shirt almost. Twenty five dollars and forty nine cents plus shipping on that. We had some airsoft stuff sell, and this was for airsoft weapons, not for rifles. I know like, a lot of people commented about. I said something you couldn't sell stuff for rifles, and everybody said, "Well, I just sold a scope." I meant like accessories to put on the rifle itself. A four, um, a vertical grip, a butt stock. Anything like the Picatinny rail that actually gets attached to it, not stuff that goes on the Picatinny rail, a charging handle for a rifle. You can't sell any of that stuff on eBay, but for an airsoft, because it is different, can be sold. This lot of stuff sold for $21 plus shipping, and we actually got this. We're in the pure profit on this one because we got it for super cheap, and we already sold some stuff out of that lot. We sold another vintage Lego set right here. For twenty no, for thirty-two dollars and thirty cents plus shipping. We are well in the profit on those. We sold those hundreds of dollars so far. My little felt dogs are selling eight dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. What is this? A blue tick coon hound? Mm-hmm. That's a good dog. You know what they sound like? <laughs> I don't know what coon dogs you listening to. <laughs> Y'all write it down below. I thought that was a good impersonation of a blue tick coon now. Then we sold another set of golfy clubs. This one could have sold a lot more. This is a tailor-made super steel burner set left-handed. That's why I made it valuable. And it even had a bent shaft on the uh, pitching wedge. Still sold for $97.75. We picked them up for $10. Super cheap on that. But it's because they were left-handed is why they went for so much money. There is very few in Kayla's definition they would be rare because there were none listed and all sold so it could be rare we don't know got a brass plate here come here brass plate this right here is a brass vintage uh cover 232a so for 29 dollars and 75 cents would you think that would ever sell that much money no i did because it's brass biggest sale is right here the smallest but the biggest sale this is T45 sterling silver bracelet rectangular point bracelet and necklace combo sold international $254 plus shipping. And then we had some Los Angeles Rams NFL helmet sold for $29.75. That was also from Tony. Thank you so much. Red hat right there. I think it was a uh, felt, yeah, felt hat. $16.99 on that. At the storage unit. First, we're gonna go ahead and thank some people that bought some stuff out of our store. Rebecca, thank you so much. You bought two DVDs, 1980 and 1970. We much appreciate it. Also, Kathy, what the hell, Kitty Mug? I picked this up. This video is not out yet on the Beater Thrift Machine channel. So we got some 
Mechanics Cold Weather Coveralls Woodland Camo Military Gear Size Small sold for $29.75. And uh, they were heavily stained on the bottom and they still sold pretty good. Since I got these in my hand, Lego System 6262 with the Pirates. This is vintage, sold for $70 plus shipping. We are so in the profit on that buy. Helmet sold, $15 plus shipping. Then we had some uh, Master Stuff sold. Head cover, look how beat up this head cover is, right? And I took really good pictures of it. It's still sold for $19.99 plus shipping. It's even missing the tag. <laughs> it's even missing the tag right there. Still sold for 20 bucks. Had a CD sell, $3 plus shipping. Had a shirt sell from Lucky Brand. Um, I mean, Lucky Brand doesn't sell all that great, but I'm pretty sure we got this from Tony. So we got this for free, sold for $15 plus shipping. Two VW books sold. The manuals go ahead and check them out right here and uh that one's i think they actually both sold international for one for ten dollars and 65 cents and the other one for nine dollars and 90 cents so that was pretty good while you're down there go ahead and take a look at the van corduroy hat so for 19 dollars plus shipping and we also had a little fanny pack i've never seen this fanny pack before we picked this up at the boy scout uh yard sale which also we picked up the hello kitty and the other masters thing and some of them golf clubs so a lot of stuff sold from that uh yard sale already 23 dollars plus shipping on that which is pretty good a real sold right there pen 60 real sold for 25 dollars plus shipping then the big old taka here 35 doll hairs you said you already have a box for him mm -hmm. he weighs a lot we just did shoulders that was rough oh look at this the old swiss army knife sold somebody said on the other channel this was worth absolutely nothing you're wrong $20 plus shipping. We sold a wrench. $19.99 plus shipping on this. And what kind of wrench is that? That's Mac. That is Mac. a Mac tools wrench. Uh, Club Vintage Software Pan Rare sold for $12 plus shipping. Must not be that rare. Jack in the Box. I can't believe you don't remember the Jack in the Box guy. Who has been watching for over a year remembers the guy that kept saying the word Jack in the Box? Putter. Flea Market, North Carolina. We finally sold it, $19.99. He gave it to us, I think, for like a dollar or two, which was pretty good. Sir Pendleton, remember we picked these up for $2 a piece. This one sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And one more thing sold, and that is another Goffy Club. This one sold as a T300 rifled shaft, 5.0 steel, 6 iron, tailor-made, $20 plus shipping. And then we sold a brand, this brand spanking new, isn't it? Juicy mm -hmm. Couture, would that be a clutch? Yes. Clutch purse, thirteen dollars plus shipping, and a Tamagotchi sold. Not this isn't a vintage one. There are vintage ones that go for way more money. This one I think is from two thousand and sixteen. And did you have one of these when you were a kid? I did. You did? Mm hmm. Hmm. I did. I killed it a lot. Did you? I didn't have one. I don't know. <laughs> did the guys have them? This is more of a girl thing. Probably more of a girl thing. Was it? I don't know. But I didn't have one. But this one sold for sixteen dollars plus shipping. We are at the house, not at the storage unit. Kayla's drinking her delicious uh. Tropical smoothie. Tropical smoothie. And we didn't do this at the storage unit because so much sold so quick. We just came back from vacation mode and we did a couple things that usually boost sales right afterwards. We'll go ahead and start thanking Pam. Thank you so much. You bought the coolest Forrest Gump shirt. And uh, Forrest Gump is your favorite movie. Isn't it? No. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? You We're love Forrest Brad. Gump. I do like Forrest Gump, but it's not like my favorite movie. Scale of 1 to 10. Where does it fall? your movies mm, probably like a seven seven all right well number seven well, we like the shirt pam thank you so much for your support ray bands inside here so for 30 bucks pair of uggs back here for 20 bucks some die cut halloween 20 bucks on those these right here are pretty neat these are polo like good looking shoes the thing is polo ralph lauren shoes like a lot of them don't go for a lot of money these also had some damage i was not going to sell them on ebay i was just going to do it in one of our local yard sales but I decided to do it for 20 bucks, and they actually sold for 20 bucks, even with the damage to the front of them. So that wasn't too bad. And this shirt right here, we just bought at the when we were up in North Carolina. It's from Rockwear, uh, Western Wear, lime green. Went for 25 dollars plus shipping. We had a Honeywell right here touchscreen sale. These are pretty good. We got them for five dollars at a uh, yard sale, and this one sold for 29.99 plus shipping. Then some things that sold super fast within like 10 to 12 hours. Nikon, remember I bought the, the entire Nikon 
lenses and body for 20 bucks. It didn't have a battery, so I parted everything out. This one lens sold for 125 bucks plus shipping, sold within 10 hours. The Rossi engine right here sold for parts for 50 bucks plus shipping sold within an hour and then this one here is a canyon sure shot we picked in a thrift store in hawassi georgia it's picked up for five bucks sold for 59.99 and all i did was come home put a battery in and make sure it worked the, and everything functioned on it and boom so that's not too bad and then one golf club sold right here for 59.99 look how clean that was i actually cleaned this with a very fine sandpaper and kind of polished it up as you can see and this thing sold pretty quick for a golf club because Right there, I always put the date on the golf club. So this was only listed on May 16th. So, so within two weeks, and it's, it's a nice Wilson Staff 8813. So for $60 plus shipping. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so Dave, what do you do? 